welcome to the Lyme Disease Association Support Group Meeting. I'm Julie Payne and I'm here to speak with you about the benefits of hyperbaric oxygen treatments. I am not going to be able to physically be with you, but I would like to share my story and let you know that the intent of this presentation is not to sell you hyperbaric oxygen treatments, but to let you know of an alternative and successful treatment that may benefit I would like to share my story with you. It began about four years ago and I was camping and hiking in the Sequoia National Forest and after returning home I developed flu-like symptoms and I basically sat in a chair for two days, didn't eat, didn't sleep, and didn't move. Um, after that period then it developed into chronic uh, pelvic and lumbar spine pain and I also had pulmonary problems such as uh, pleurisy, about 15 bouts of pleurisy and cardiac problems. There were times that I felt like I was having a heart attack and I went to the emergency room. They ran all of the, uh, all of the um, tests that they would run for someone that they thought was having a heart attack such as the EKG and the cardiac factors and they all came back negative so that I was at a dead end once again. Um, I also developed a lot of neurological aspects of chronic Lyme, which would be to have uh, problems finding words, uh, getting lost in places that I've been 50 to 100 times, and just basically not being able to communicate pe with people effectively. That was the beginning of the journey for me to find a way to cure Lyme disease. I'd like to give you a little background about my journey from illness to healing. Uh, some of the things I endured were $80,000 in medical expenses, and I know a lot of you also have endured the burden of uh, financial responsibility with this disease. I went to five different hospitals, and one of those hospitals I was actually admitted for six days. I was released without a diagnosis, and left in a wheelchair. I went home and had home health care and they basically taught me how to walk again through uh, strengthening and mobility exercises and so I went from the wheelchair to the walker and then to the cane and then I was able to with uh, physical therapy outside the home five days or three days a week excuse me uh, two hours a day I was able to uh, walk without the aid of any of these devices. I was under the care of 12 different doctors and during this time I had nine different types of antibiotics and these were given to me for different various diseases that they had differential diagnosed me with such as endometriosis when they actually gave me a um, post-op diagnosis after a laparoscopic surgery that was negative. I also was tested for mono and tested negative for that. Um, I also, they thought that I had rheumatic fever and that was basically a complication of a strep throat infection that developed into rheumatic fever and then the neurological complications of chorus uh, set in, they thought. And then after that, um, I developed pleurisy uh, about 15 different times throughout the last four years. Um, lupus, I was tested for lupus three different times by um, two different doctors. MS, I actually had a spinal tap in which they um, tested my spinal fluid and it tested negative and also um, the BB organism was not in my spinal fluid at that time. And as all of you know, fibromyalgia does not have a definitive diagnostic test that can rule whether you have it or do not have it. Uh, the only thing they can give you is a clinical diagnosis and that is what I uh, received, as well as chronic fatigue syndrome. Um, then the very last thing that I um, was diagnosed with before my final diagnosis of Lyme was the degenerative disc disease. I had a bulging disc at L4 and L5 and a bulging disc at um, between uh, C5 and 6 and they were going to have to do surgery and I just was not really wanting to go the surgery route so I was trying to find uh, you know the answers to my questions and then finally my last diagnosis was Lyme disease. I repeatedly experienced a recurrence of my Lyme symptoms such as dizziness and 
you know, just having stress and fatigue, um, joint pain, poor concentration, and throughout all those things, uh, you know, just the feeling of sadness, of not finding any answers and not having any alternatives. So I, I, you know, did some research and what are some of the alternative treatments that I could have possibly done? One of my treatment options was a very radical one and that was uh, being injected with malarial infected blood. That would be one organism fighting off the other organism. <laughs> Did I really want to introduce another organism with such a terrible disease uh, into my body? And the other thing, uh, do I want to do long-term prescription drugs? I've done two years of prescription drugs without any successful results, uh, maybe short term. So that was not an option for me. Uh, another option would be possibly uh, intravenous vitamin C and oxygen therapy. And I did hear some positive things about those therapies, but just didn't want to do something uh, that I didn't really know that much about. So I decided to do some more research, and through my research, I found um, hyperbaric oxygen uh, treatment. I just Googled it and uh, like what were the treatments for, alternative treatments for Lyme disease. And every time, hyperbaric oxygen treatments would come up. So I just did more extensive research. And um, one of the reasons why I chose hyperbaric oxygen treatments is my desire to conquer Lyme disease. I've had this disease, I believe, for about four years, as I said before. And um, in my extensive research, I learned about a lot of different innovative uh, therapies and treatments. And this seemed to be the most beneficial through different studies. Uh, you can look on PubMed and find out some information on it, as well as just uh, positive testimonials that I uh, received from people. Um, uh, for example, one of my friends, uh, she had a friend that lived up in Northern California and uh, she gave me her phone number and I contacted her and we had a discussion about her um, well-being at this time and point. She's uh, been out of therapy for about two years and she's doing extremely well uh, and Lyme, the Lyme symptoms have not come back at this time. So I opted that that had to be the therapy for me. As all of us Limeys, as we call ourselves now, we've tried many things in order to get ourselves well. And they can be simple things, such as changing our diet or taking vitamins. And I do believe all of these things are beneficial for wellness. But I also believe that if you incorporate all these things that you have with hyperbaric oxygen treatments, that it will enhance your body's ability to heal it. My hyperbaric oxygen treatment experience consisted of 27 consecutive visits, 90 minutes per day, at 2.8 atmospheres, which is relatively 60 feet below sea level. I herxed on the third through the sixth day, and basically my herx was um, tremors and uh, facial tics and stuttering, which resolved on the seventh day. And then I, what I call my magic day was the 11th day when my brain fog lifted. I didn't know how badly my brain had been affected by this disease until that did happen, until the brain fog lifted. And I was able to see things so much more clearly. I was able to communicate effectively with people. And I just am enjoying life. I've been singing and dancing and enjoying the things that I used to enjoy and um, it's been a positive experience for me. And how I know hyperbarics helped me is that it reduced my inflammation and how I know that is um, my wrists and my ankles were no longer hurting from uh, joint pain. Uh, I believe that it detoxed my high levels of die-off waste, um, as all of you know that when you have a herx, that's basically what's happening is you have the die-off waste, which makes you feel terrible. Um, also, it gave my brain more focus and clarity so I could actually even be talking to you today. And it re I recovered my um, gross and fine motor skills. I didn't drop things anymore. I wasn't running into walls. Um, I decreased my seizure activity, which I have not had any more tremors at all um, to speak of. And also, it allowed me a more functional learning environment, so any new information I was able to process and 
uh, retain, like say I'm reading a book or a paragraph. I couldn't even read a paragraph and retain that knowledge before, and today I'm able to do that. And I truly believe that hyperbarics can open the door to wellness for you as well. I just want you to know that I have been symptom free for two plus months and I am loving life. I have been enjoying things that I haven't enjoyed in so long, like just singing and dancing and having fun with my kids. And I just want you to know that this is such a great thing to be able to be well finally after such a long journey. No one knows the trouble we've seen. No one knows what we've endured through this insidious disease. And I hope that this presentation has been insightful to you and I hope that you find wellness. And if I can be of any help or assistance to you in the future, please contact me at the information at the end of this presentation. Take care and be well.